I believe that you can feel when it is time for change. When you intuitively feel it's time for a change, the urge to redecorate your home, to change your personal style or to move among others show up. And in the past few weeks, I could feel that things need to change. I've lived in my apartment for five years, but I've never really felt at home here. When I came back from Korea to the city where I was born after my studies, I never thought it would be for so long. I didn't pay attention to whether I felt comfortable in the apartment, didn't buy proper furniture or decorated it the way my heart longed for because it was only temporary, or so I thought. But the things always turn out differently than you think, right? One year turned into two, and two into three. Now it's almost six years and somehow a lot has changed here, and yet it feels like nothing has changed. But I certainly know that I've changed a lot in my time here. I've grown in my practice as a witch, started to share my magic with the world, became so clear about what I want to do with my life. And I've learned how important it is to have a place to call home, even if it's an apartment that's only temporarily rented. It took me a long time to understand that it's important to make the most of everything and put your heart into it, no matter how short or long this chapter of your life is. Every place has a story to tell and you become part of that story. It's like you are writing in that guest book of that place. Hey, I was here. Familiarize yourself with the house spirits, make a small offering, like a song that you are singing, try out different things to see what your house spirit and the gnomes and the fairies living here like. I found that whenever I put new crystals or fresh flowers there, there would be a beautiful reflection by the sunlight the next day or the evening. The sun would hit that specific crystal in the most unique way, making rainbows all over my walls and I would know that my gift was appreciated. So even though I am very grateful that I have that place to live, I can sense that the chapter in this apartment is coming to an end. And I found it funny that when I tried to do a little makeover the other day, everything went wrong. Like the apartment was saying, girl, now you don't have to start with it either after all these years. The wall was cracking when I wanted to hang up pictures. The color for my wooden chair dropped on the floor, leaving stains everywhere but I still wanted to remove part of the things that I didn't really like on my walls in my sleeping room any longer to embrace a new, fresher, more green witchy energy that I have been embodying since a few months. Like these old moon face calendars from 2021 and 2022 that made me feel like I was constantly living in the past. 
And even though I'm not going to make big changes in this apartment anymore, I wanted to express my green witch a little bit more. I recently thrifted this beautiful frame and I thought it would be perfect to create something where I could dry my herbs that I started growing and collecting this year. I used cotton thread that my grandmother made herself years ago to weave in more magic and make it more meaningful to me. After cutting back my lavender to prepare it for autumn, I wanted to dry some of it because the smell is just heavenly and I love working with lavender in my practice. And did you know that you can not only use the lush purple flower of the lavender, but also the leaves? You can make tea with them, dry them for a sachet to place under your pillow to enhance lucid dreaming which is something that I'm definitely going to do, make some magical salt with it and many more purposes. I also used some fresh lavender leaves to make a honey infused lavender tea and this is the most delicious tea that I ever had but be careful I was really tired afterwards I would recommend making this kind of tea in the evening and please make sure you know what you are consuming don't consume it when you are pregnant or try to get pregnant and consult your doctor if you are not sure.
I have been standing at this crossroads for a very long time now without even realizing it. Or maybe I realized it, but I'm a person that resists the obvious as long as I possibly can, trying to still make things work even though I can feel when it's time for change. I try to be gentle with myself with that because I am still learning too. And it was only until I started working with Hecate recently that I realized that it was indeed a crossroads that was coming closer even though I didn't really want to accept that fact. But it was also only this year that I really started to become clear about what I wanted my life to look like, what was important to me and what I wanted to keep in my life and what I needed to let go of. So there was one more thing that I wanted to do today. I wanted to do a spell to allow new doors for me to open and to walk through them once they do. Because let me tell you, telling the universe that you are ready for change and you want it and then actually taking action to create the change on your own are two totally different things. And I realized that I have been in this weird dilemma of wanting change but at the same time fearing it and staying in a freeze mode to avoid the action because I thought what if this is the best it will get. And if you have a similar belief let's change that together into this or something better from now on bestie, okay? And it's not about deserving, that's a misconception many people have when it comes to manifesting something. We already deserve the best that life has to offer for us, we just have to claim it. Since I started to work with Hecate, that literally is the symbol for chaos that has to arise to clear out the old so that new things can arise. I was clear about what spell I would make. I bought this beautiful key at a flea market a few weeks ago and I was told that this is a key for old mechanical clocks. And whenever I look at this key it reminds me of that little time travel thingy that Hermione has in Harry Potter, where she is going back in time because she wants to visit more classes and learn more can totally understand that. And this was so fitting because this little key to me means that we ourselves hold the key for change in our hands. We can decide if we stay in the past and are stuck there in our thoughts and actions, if we are moving on embracing the moment or if we are being too focused on a future we think is best for us that we completely miss doors that open for us that really are best for us. It's a symbol that new doors will open up, but at the same time old doors need to be closed. <laughs> 